Winter in Bozeman, Montana, people don't play a lot of tennis. You had the court cleared off for us. Well, we did have the court cleared off. Watch it. It'll be slick. I came to Bozeman to find a city on thin ice over how it's spending stimulus money. $50,000 to erase all these cracks and potholes in a city tennis court. What was your reaction when you read the paper and saw that project? I said to my wife, I'll be dang, look what they're doing in Bozeman. Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer wants to make Bozeman an example of how not to spend stimulus money. Putting a rubberized surface on a crumbling tennis court was not part of Schweitzer's plan, targeting roads, water, and energy efficiency. What did Bozeman do wrong here? What they violated was that rule of common sense. There ought to be a little guy in your head that uh, wags his finger at you and says, wait a minute, we might want to rethink this thing. At one point, Governor Schweitzer even decided to pay a surprise visit on the Bozeman City Commission. So he showed up at their regularly scheduled meeting to tell them publicly and face to face this is not how he wanted stimulus dollars being spent. But that meeting did not go well. Sir, I will explain it to you again. No, you don't need to explain it to me. Well, no, will, we, are, we already heard your side of the story. Bozeman yeah. Mayor Jeff Krause yeah. says the yeah. state legislature decided public yeah. recreation projects were yeah. fair game yeah. for yeah. stimulus money. Yeah. About a dozen other Montana cities are doing the same thing. Can you stand on this tennis court right now and say to the American taxpayers all over the country that this was $50,000 well spent? Darn right. The big picture of stimulus, though, was to create jobs to maintain jobs. Are you doing that with this project? It is creating some instant jobs, some instant work for people all around the country. The product is manufactured in St. Louis, so it's putting Americans to work. We looked into that and contacted the Minnesota company contracted to do the Bozeman courts. We were told it will be hiring just two local workers to handle the installation, a two-day job. Two Americans to work from Bozeman. From though. Bozeman, well, and this is an outside company, a, comp a company that's outside Montana. This is federal money, okay? This is federal money. It's not state money. It's not Bozeman money. So, if it's employing people in St. Louis, if it's employing a person in uh, um, in Minneapolis, it's federal money. We're Americans. It's Americans going to work. Where did you go wrong? Do you ha do you have any regrets? Well, I was nervous as a long-tailed cat at a rocking chair convention when the legislature left town without putting each one of these projects line item and said, we're just going to block granite to the cities and counties. And so at that point, we lost control of 20 million of the 850 million. Is this project a waste of the stimulus money? It's not a waste of money, but it is not the appropriate use of money. Regardless, the Bozeman tennis courts and their new stimulus-funded rubberized surface are expected to be ready for use this spring. David Mattingly, CNN, Bozeman, Montana.